Hi right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with a group I just did. Doing this one on the carpet in my bedroom because I don't have a studio anymore. I do have a studio, but it's full of other stuff and we haven't completely finished moving. So I have a Marlin Model 1894 right here, chambered in 357 Magnum. It will also shoot 38 Special, but I did some of that. But I, obviously, since I'm not going to be hunting with it, I went ahead and did away with that. I did put a Sig Sauer Whiskey 3 2 to 7 power scope on it. It is an amazing scope. I definitely think y'all should go check that out if y'all have a chance to. It has an 18 and a half ish inch barrel or 18 and a quarter inch barrel. Um, they're about a you know $1,200 gun. And there we go. Let me undo that. There we go. Um, and it shoots great, you know, not a lot of recoil, just a straight up beautiful gun, about $1,200 value there, not counting the scope. Um, but I shot three different ammos through it already. Well, I'm sorry, actually. I shot some 38 special stuff through it. I shot some 158 grain PPU, which is some 357 stuff, and it grouped at 50 yards, about two inches. At uh, 100 yards, I was getting like 8-inch groups like or like a nice little, you know, 3-inch group or so. or And then I have a, a good bit of flyers. But, and that could have been because of the barrel heating up. I'm not sure. But I picked up two boxes of this stuff. Um, it is a 357 Magnum, the Federal Fusion, 158 grain, which is the same, the same uh, grain amount that I set the scope with which is with the PPU stuff. I got the Hornady Lever Revolution, which is a 140 grain FXT. And I also have Hornady Handgun Hunter. This stuff didn't load into there as well. I think it's because it has that serrated top. Um, and it made it just kind of grab a little bit. But uh, this is the most expensive stuff I have to shoot. And I think this because it has 25 cartridges in there instead of 20. Um, this one has 25 also, I just realized that. Uh, but this is 130 grain Monoflex. Uh, got a little thing on there that says they're cool in California. California sucks. Uh, so anyways, um, I shot all of these. And I'm going to show you all the Hornady Lever Revolution stuff. I have it marked here. 357 Hornady Lever Evolution, 140 grain. I got a 2 and a quarter inch group at 100 yards. I'm thinking about setting my scope up maybe three clicks um, or four click, maybe four clicks and that would get me about right where I need to be that would still actually have me kind of low I might go ahead and do six clicks up um, all together um, but hey that's not a bad group I was wasn't even expecting that good especially since it's a pistol caliber and um, but hey it, it groups good you know I was happy with that um, like really happy honestly uh, but I don't think it has the, this bullet for deer hunting just won't have the same energy that the Federal Fusion will carry. The Federal Fusion actually shows you the energy. Let's see, 1240 at uh, muzzle. Let's see, what's this one at muzzle? This one here is 12, 7, what, 1440 at muzzle. Huh. This one should be really good. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm kind of torn between which one of these I'm going to hunt with this year. Uh, we'll just have to see. But yes, I did get this one-inch group. I drew, I drew a bigger circle because I have this, um, just this two to seven power scope. But I'll, I'll be honest with you about the scope, y'all. It is really clear. I had a Vortex just like it before. It was a Vortex Crossfire two to seven power scope. And I found that it was really, really, really hazy. So uh, this is actually very nice. Um, I like it. Um, it does add a big modern look to the gun, which I'm, you know, it, it's cool, but this is mostly going to be like a close range gun, 50 to 75 yards, probably never even that far. It's probably going to be like a 30 yard gun. So hopefully it does good this year. I'll let y'all know about that. But hey, first group, I did three groups. Let's move on to the second one. This is the 357 Hornady Handgun Hunter. That's why I have the HH on there. Uh, 130 grain. It grouped like, I don't know, three inches low and two inches to the right, but a two and three eighths inch group. Um, I think I'm going to actually get, trade this box of amp, this partial box of ammo because it's got 21 left in it. Uh, trade it for something else for this thing or something for my 3030 or something like that. So, anyway, that's real. I mean, that's really not bad, but I don't like out of everything that the other two things I shot just shot a little bit low and grouped. 
pretty much center. This stuff shot low and grouped to the left. So uh, let's see. Let's see actually if I can do this really quick. Let's see. Um, it, it grouped. It shot more than three inches low to the center of the pattern. I'd say four inches low, and the group is uh, just like I put on there, two and three eighths inch group. Yep, two and just just shy of two and three eighths inch. So that's that. Uh, not much to shake a stick out there, but for a pistol caliber, uh, that's really good. Um, the, the, I'm sure that the, the, if I decided to shoot that stuff, and if I wasn't shooting past 50 yards, it wouldn't matter. Still on a deer, you know, that would still, I'm sure, kill it, but that's more often what I want to be. So, uh, yeah. So let's move on to the next, which is this stuff here. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the Federal Fusion, which is like specifically made for deer out of all these other ones. This one actually says it's like made for deer. Uh, so they designed the bullet to go through the hide, the, the hair, the hide, the bones, the meat, uh, the vitals, and to perform like it's supposed to. I, I do believe that Federal does, a, Federal does a great job in engineering their rounds to do what they're like advertised to do. I've killed a lot of deer with Federal ammunition out of a 308, out of 3030. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm sure out of other stuff also. Um, but yeah, so let's move on to this next group, which is this stuff here. 357, Federal Fusion, 158 grain. These are bonded soft points, by the way. Uh, I got a two inch group. So it grouped better than the rest of the stuff, and that's from the, 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 the center of this hole to the center of this hole. I don't go from the outside to the outside because I believe that's wrong because that's where the outside of your bullet hit. The center of your bullet, the very center of your bullet hole is where the, the very center of the bullet struck. So that's what I measure to and I got two inches. Actually just a smidgen shy, maybe uh, a sixteenth shy, but I can't really tell using uh, the tape measure. So um, I'm like I said, I'm going to set my scope up. Um, probably six clicks and call that good uh so yeah i haven't seen any other bull um uh, accuracy testing for this gun with with a decent amount of uh, magnification on the scope for a hundred yard testing everything else i've seen for this gun and this chambering um has been really not i wouldn't say mediocre but um either open sights or like three power scope type of stuff you know i really wanted to see what it could really do at 100 yards and obviously this group at 50 yards would be you know this big you know half that size same with this group you know they would all be way smaller even this group super small you know so uh all these bullets you really do do great um like i said i think that i'm going to choose this one over everything else um if not i might give that a shot the, the lever revolution the shot on some does but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the the video especially since i haven't done nothing like this in a while our the state of our country is terrible right now it's scary with this with that witch kamala harris and what she's trying to do and uh, you know we have people fighting for us right now the things that i never thought would would see like uh, uh rfk his big thing is fixing our food we're being poisoned because the people that own our food industry are the same people that own the drug industry. So if they can poison you and give you chronic diseases, the, the, the medical industry and, and the pharmaceutical industry just gained a lifelong patient. And they don't want to cure you. They want to treat you. If they cure you, they lose a patient. So they're actually looking at addressing that and making our food safer and stuff like that, which is really exciting. I know that Trump is leading in the polls, but right now the media is saying that you know, he's not leading in the polls, that it's a tied race, because they're planning on just shenanigans again. They're planning on not being honest when it comes to the results of the thing, you know. Uh, so y'all keep that and keep, keep praying for our president. Pray for what's going on. Pray for an honest election. And God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you so much. He really does. If y'all are going through stuff in your life that's just terrible, especially just like, uh, you know, just the anxiety of just seeing what's going on in our country, uh, you know, you know, Jesus can 
help you with that. You know, he, he loves to see people do good. And, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's why he's here. So, anyways, I will see y'all next time. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. As always, like, like, and subscribe and stuff. Bye-bye.